Hello and welcome to this week's installment of 925 Nerds with Robert Swathwood, Corey Urkel, Hello. Katrina Swathwood. I'm a robot. Uh, <laughs> Wait, why are you saying installment now? Eh. That's his thing. He likes it better. Uh, Bl- Brian likes it better. I just kind of... Is it, is it a Mark Maron thing? No. Oh. He says episode. Yeah. If I, I don't even correctly. know. If, I don't even think he says episode. This is my show, WTF. Lock the gates. Lock the gates. <laughs> uh, I think you should sing every, every time. You and Alan's episode. here. Uh, no. No. Nobody wants that. Everybody <laughs> wants that. You <laughs> want it. Uh, no. Okay. So fucking this this poll that's up on Twitter right now. This, this oh, goddamn crazy poll. poll. Which poll? Yeah, this poll. Flag Robert's poll. poll. No. My oh, poll. the one that I don't have a horse in. My my poll is all. What do you mean you don't have there. a horse in? Everybody has a horse in that. I don't like licorice. Period. So they both suck. Well, one is not licorice. They there is no option for neither of the above. It, it, leave it to you to be like. Because Twizzlers like, are not licorice. They still are gross. Yes, which they are is gross. well and fine, but they're not licorice. Do you like Do you like black licorice? No, really. God. Oh, it's the oh, best. I love black licorice. That so seems good. like you would like it because it's black, like your soul. No, good in plenties. No, mm. I love black licorice. Uh, no, I put a poll, poll up on Twitter. Like, what do you like? Do you prefer Twizzlers or red vines? We're just talking not not the peel ones that the are strawberry the strawberry ones. Twizzlers, but the regular Twizzler, the one that makes the me happy, to the regular red vine. You know, I don't know if I have a preference. I don't eat them either very much. The same camp in my like. No, no, you're wrong. See, I They're put, not the same camp at all. You're extremely wrong. I put them in the same category as candy corn. What? And wax lips <laughs> and circus peanuts. See, but see, but all of what? those things minus wax lips have some sort of flavoring to them. Wax lips were just wax lips. Like when They're, I was a kid, if a house gave that away on They're Halloween, just for fun to put in your they mouth. They would get egged. You were one of the people that actually egged somebody's house. Oh, wait. Who here has? I mean, you're you're too much of a goody two shoe, so I doubt you would. But I've never egged a house. Corey, I would have liked to. I never did. Oh. We've done toilet paper and, and shrink wrap and stuff like that. I'm, I'm yeah. sure the I'm sure the uh, statute of limitations is well and well beyond past, you. But yeah, well, absolutely. That's I, a terrorist terrorist. I think I think in I think in nine days I'm going to egg my first house. Which one? Eh, this this one out tw- about 25 minutes away from my house. <laughs> out in the mountains. Nine days might be a little too late. <laughs> it might be too late. Was it ever too yeah, late? I think it. I close in seven. Well, it'll still be there in nine. Yeah. I was, I was like, not, wait a minute. Hopefully head the day the other way and just get it on the other owners. <laughs> you have to hike up that driveway to get to my house. I can throw pretty far. Egg can. Yeah. You may just have to employ He'll throw Parker. a shoulder no, out. And anyways, I put a pole up and uh, I, I'm not big on, I like red vines, but uh, okay. I'm, I don't eat them very often. Yeah. Uh, although if there's one of those big tubs that somebody brings in, I will eat my fair them. share. Yeah, or the three pack um, in the bag. But the thing is, is mm. is red vines are soft, and they there's actually a flavoring to them. Whereas Twizzlers are hard, and it feels like you're eating Tupperware, and they're not <laughs> they're not sweet. <laughs> no, it's serious. They're they're fucking they're terrible. I couldn't tell you the last time I ate either. Then what the hell are the peel ones that you said don't count? They're the strawberry flavored they're like, ones. It's like a rope. Yeah, they they're not. They're we're just talking basic to basic. We're not talking like super flavors or. That's or not the basic that. flavor. No. no. Next no. week I'm gonna buy one package of yeast. We'll taste test them on here, and then you could say something, Corey. That'd be fine. Okay, but no, there the poll is like overwhelmingly almost Twizzlers over Red Vines, and I'm like flabbergasted. It's the, the Wyatt thing, family coming out. Is it because Twizzlers are fucking gross? Like they're so bad. Like, and I can, I, most things I can say, okay, I could see where somebody would like that, but it's literally like eating a piece of plastic. Like it's so bad. I don't know if it's just, remind me, what's your favorite candy again? Huh? Mine is, uh, I don't know. I'd have to to think about it from day to day. You've you've admitted to me that you like some pretty boring candies. Like what? Like Werther's. I do like Werther's. Yeah. I, I grew up with. I mean, that's what I was about, right. What I was about to say is is the nostalgia of it. Like you like a Twizzler because you liked them when you were a kid, even though they're god awful. Uh, even Werthers have a flavoring. I swear, I swear to you, or, or like the candy apple Werthers. Those are good because it's like caramel pretty. and yeah. yeah. Thank you. But uh, n- no, it's. I'd say if I had to pick a candy bar, um, I do like Reese's. But uh, Milky Way Midnight's have been one of my favorites since I was like fourteen or fifteen. Pretty basic too, but they're really good. Oh god, the dark chocolate with the caramel and the nougat. But when, when I lump licorice in with that, mm-hmm. uh, are good. Symphony bars. Yep. Candy corn and I can eat a couple peanuts. pieces of candy got, corn every year. 
Ugh. Like a little tiny like fun pack. Ugh. You know what's actually really good? And I'm not big on candy corn. It I'll makes like candy corn and popcorn. Ugh. No, I don't do that. You I was, know, like, remember when you were kids, you get like the stupid glove with like yeah. candy corn in the fingernails. That's and not good. But uh, I had a friend whose mom made like a Chex Mix type thing. And it was peanuts with uh, like candy corn in there and some other stuff. And when you get that, because it is just basically pure sugar. Right. When you get the sugar with the saltiness of the peanuts, it was actually pretty good. Popcorn. I can see that. No, because it's stale. It's always like stale pumpkin, popcorn pop- in the glove. Uh, yeah. Candy corn ones. The there's, a, there's better candy that mixes with popcorn. Um, circus peanuts. That's one of those things I can I can eat like every five or ten years just to remember what it's like. <laughs> or like that you know it's the lo- the wax Coke bottles that are the wax bottles that you Nickel bite nips. the top off and you drink them. You drink them. Nickel nips. Yeah. Those are or are are interesting. The blue but Coke bottles are my favorite. Super sugary juice that's in them. Yeah. <laughs> what made you put that poll up? I was just curious. It was Parks and Rec. It was the episode where they're having their party for announcing their engagement. What's funny is our buddy Brian Huntington from Skybound was like, he said that. He's like, it's a West Coast thing that people like red vines. I didn't know that because I'm on the West Coast. So I guess it doesn't hmm. really fucking well, look matter. Because like, look, you don't see I don't think I see Twizzlers at movie theaters out here. Yeah, I do. But uh, I did it's predominantly the... red vines. Well, they usually have one little row of Twizzlers and one little row of red vines. Because I'd see them when I'd be out on the East Coast, but... Not that people buy them. I think my next post is going to be, uh, <laughs> do you buy candy at the movie theater or do, or do you, bring you bring it, it in? with you? <laughs> I think it would be predominantly bringing it 50, in. 50-50. Right? You so think I'm running so? late? Oh, so people or you in general? Or you could only get the Sour Jacks at the theaters for the longest time. They did not sell those in stores. What's Sour Jacks? They're not Sour Patch Kids. They're called Sour Jacks. Oh, okay. Same shit. Mm-hmm. No, they're different. I'll still get a popcorn. Like, I know the kids like popcorn. Katrina likes popcorn. All I love stuff. popcorn. It changes every now and then. I guess I have to be in the mood. Sometimes I even get a hot dog or a pretzel or a beer if they have them. The food has gotten a little better it, before they could skate by on just having garbage. But Microwavable hot dogs. Yeah, it's gotten well, a little better. Well, the nacho cheese comes in little packets now. It's not even like the pump nacho cheese. You also get spoiled by the uh, th- those theaters now that actually just have like straight up like yeah. gourmet chefs now, and you can just order a, a BLT or a grilled yeah. cheese. That's yeah, and then amazing. listen to people eat their fucking food through the movie that's like you, monsters. That's why you last through the previews. You don't get chips, man. You get fries. No, and, that's why you don't go see a quiet place in a theater <laughs> like that. Oh that. god, you hear everything. Yeah, we did. Stomach growling. We did. We heard everything. And that was really weird. We're getting a studio movie grill here, and I guess it's going to have two restaurants attached to it. And I guess the food isn't like super, super, super high quality, but it's like two full on restaurant things. Where's it coming? It's going to be behind Target, Santee. Is there a patch of land that that's not right now between the sports place? There's, There's a huge patch a of land. massive portion of land. Isn't it like Riverbed at one point? Yeah, but I mean, there's that huge area between the apartment complex and, and the street. The street. I mean, it's yeah, massive. The wetlands dried up. Did it? Yeah, we don't have water here. Where, where do They're you think? They're expecting uh, the movie theater. It's going to be like a 12. It's not going to be like a, a super, super big one. I remember when a lake was over there. It's like yeah. off the that lake. and a Carl Strauss. Before you say that we have the Santee Drive-In, because to me that doesn't count, but bringing That's back... That's not the a theater. Dr- right, bringing back drive-ins, whereas instead of showing new releases, you could watch like old movies in the drive-in. That would be... That would be cool. Even if they did it like have. once a month. Absolutely. You like whether there's a down weekend for movies coming or, out, or even like, you, hey, like for a certain amount of money, like you could just pay to have whatever played on the projector at, yeah, the Santee Drive-in. I uh, I try I, I was talking behind the scenes about about that with some airing people the Walking Dead about episode. airing a season finale and a season premiere of The Walking Dead on the drive-in theater and having like zombies go through the uh, the crowds and stuff, but it was too hard. to Imagine do. the overhead on on a place like that wouldn't be that high. Super high. When yeah. was the last time you were at Santee Drive-In? Aquaman. When it was not... That's not that long ago. When it was not there to be at the swap meet, then... 25 years. Wow, really? Yeah. My my, We haven't gone maybe, maybe a year. Yeah, Power Rangers. I used to live across years, the street from the Arrow Drive-In, so I'd go there. Okay, yeah. Or, or I'd climb on That's my roof. That's not there anymore. I'd climb on my roof and just with binoculars and a radio. Well, if, if it were me, like, it, I mean, explain it to the people that are listening. Uh, our drive-in, if you don't know what a drive-in is, it's, it's a drive-in movie theater. <laughs> Duh. You pay. Uh, <laughs> anyways, the one here is two two screens, and in the middle are the restrooms and the, the uh, concession concessions stand. Mm-hmm. If it were me, I would knock down that building in the middle and build up a new building and have red leather seats with boots chrome outlining milkshakes hamburgers 
be flipping those burgers so you can smell the burgers cooking while you're there. Do like decent food in like a 1950s feel. Do root beer floats and stuff like that. You can even go a step further and if you want to cater to like the younger crowd because that's where your demographic is, you have like things like little mini fire pits between them. That'd be cool. Yeah. Might be dangerous. Yeah. Kids and fire um, and cars. Well, the biggest thing that the Santee drive is added twenty one and up is they have a uh, they have a a battery charging thing. So when your battery dies because your car was on, they can come and give you a jump. Nice. Which I remember is, Adam coming and giving yeah. us a jump. Yeah. Or, well, that's because you uh, the Santee makes you use your radio frequency. Right? Everybody makes you use your radio frequency now. Bring back the old fucking hang it box. hanger speakers. Yeah, I like how you said make it for the new people and get fire pits. But let's go throw back those uh, ones you hang on your window. You can drive because, off and be, break them off <laughs> because young people <laughs> like that retro thing. That's why the yeah. I think the the old school. You know, like have a soda jerk and just do like. Total. I think that might be too old. That'd be cool. You though, have man. to do it like a nineties and stuff. Have more like Rocco's Modern Life or. They just had a rock, new Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah, I know. It's like I keep getting ads for it. You don't Watch me. Same with the, uh, the There's an Invader, Invader Zim. Zim yeah. yeah, I was it never is, got into Invader uh, Zim. Chaos's voice that does Invader I Zim. Know. I know. Oliver's like, "That's chaos," and I was like, "Yeah, it yeah. is." No, but uh, I have a microphone and you don't. And Red Vines are better than Twizzlers, so <laughs> there you go. Agreed. There you go. I don't care. What he can- says they're in the same camp, like what, a monster. What candy do you like? Yeah, that makes you, out of all the things that you do, that is what makes you a monster. <laughs> <laughs> out of a long list. Well, uh, I mean, you could wear... You could add this to my war crimes. You could wear, like, shirts where people are being dismembered, but, uh, <laughs> but God damn it, this he doesn't is what like makes licorice. you a monster. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite candy? Uh... I mean, I like Reese's. I mean, that's a that's a pretty standard. Okay, I think okay. nobody hates those pieces. Reese's pieces, sure. Um, no, uh, or the cups, the cups, or the little foil ones you get for like Halloween, like the bite size. Uh, they're all right too. Yeah, I like them. I mean, that's the same thing as the regular cups. Well, I think there's a the higher different. a higher the frequency. Ratio. Yeah, the ratio of peanut butter to chocolate is higher on the ones that are gold. The foil wrap. You yeah. might be right. I never paid attention to that. I'm all about the Put Reese's. Those in cookies. I'm about the egg. I'm a sucker for the uh, the Whoppers. Those malted balls. Yeah, I like. Yeah. I like Whoppers. Except when you get dusty ones. That's another oh, thing. Yeah. You got to get a chocolate malt. That's what's got to be at the drive-in. I love a malt. They had the ones at Sprouts where they had the peanut butter in them. Those were good. You can't go wrong with peanut butter Just and get chocolate. Get those at Foster's, yeah. Um, what's your favorite candy, Corey? The Symphony. Symphony. Symphony's good, man. That's an underrated it's chocolate. A, yeah, that's a, yeah. With the toffee. With toffee. Not plain, yeah. yeah. Toffee. Other ones that has almonds in it. That's okay too. Toffee though. You know what's an underrated one in in. I know I'll catch flack for this about, but what you call it? Hundred grand paydays. Paydays, paydays are, are they're under. Right. They're an underrated bar. Uh, I like hundred grands. Hundred grands are great. Hundred grands are good. Do you remember Bar None? Yes. Yes. I want. I wish that and like PB Crisps I could have again. PB Crisps. PB Crisps were good, man. Oh my gosh. What's the? What was it? What was the Nestle Crunch? The Butterfinger BBs. Yeah. The, the well, there, there, there was the BBs and there was like the bunch of crunches, right? Is that what they were called? I don't know about the bunch of crunch. Uh, weren't those like crunch bars, like in a little nugget? Yeah, little nuggets of crunch with a little crispy that. rice in it. Yeah, crackle bars. That's the same thing, wasn't it? With the yeah, yeah. And it comes from the pa- the variety pack with the Mr. Mr. Good bar. bar. Yeah, I like a Mr. Good bar single one, but I can't. I don't like a Mr. Good bar. I like the, the whole special bar. darks. Like I, I'm a fan of the dark chocolate. I like the that bitter chocolate. I wish we could get some of the Kit Kats that are like overseas, like the green tea ones. I know they brought yeah. them here every once in a while. The strawberry cream But one. you like green tea ice cream. I do. Yeah, so don't knock the candy bar. <laughs> the strawberry cream. I had the strawberry cream one once God. and that was pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. I like the big ones too that are just one big one. I, I was a fan of like sour candies. Like I love, I loved Warheads as a kid and Sour Patch Kids. Toxic Waste? Yeah. That's sour. Sour straws. Mm. We gave my 92-year-old grandma a Warhead and she did not change faces at all. She put that thing in her mouth. She and probably just, didn't like, taste it. Yeah, her taste buds are probably dead. <laughs> What's that candy called where you get the stick and you dip it in sugar? Fun, Fun dip. dip. Yeah. <laughs> Most yeah. people would just... Kids still love those. Yeah. For Valentine's yeah. Day, that's like the only I thing I like the my kids stick get. better than I like the powder. Isn't the stick also just oh, sugar as well? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pixie sticks. God, you remember, yeah. remember that phase where like classmates would snort pixie sticks? No. no. Nobody I know ever did that. You, we talked about it, but nobody ever and did And I went it. to Catholic school. Come on. Nobody where they were doing actual sticks. cocaine. Yeah. yeah. Well, they grew up to real drugs. Yeah. No, we're talking like young. You like, remember dots? Yes. You can never get the paper off the paper. Oh, God. Do you remember when 
the big scare went around that, that people were placing with LSD. No, I don't remember that. Yeah. Were they? Did you ever eat a piece of candy off of a thing that uh, art project that you glued something to? I'm sure I did. I never glued never candy glued, to art that I could uh, make. Macaroni. Of. I thought you were going to ask if you ever ate candy from a stranger. Uh, yes. At Halloween well, every yeah. year. <laughs> you never went to a van? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get on cream. in. I do remember Hondo and I eating uh, Rocky Road bars, which are an underrated Ooh, bar as well. Yeah. From a neighbor that we knew, and we were both halfway done eating them, and then we saw maggots on the. <gasps> uh, Michael. <laughs> we, we, uh, we were eating maggots. Oh. They were in the food? Yeah. Gross. Nice reference. Really? Thank you. I appreciate that. The maggots and marshmallow? Yeah. Little. I don't know. They like marshmallow. But they were sealed, Every, they were sealed in the they package, like right? Yeah. So it wasn't like they knowingly... Like, no, they did not. They did not. Uh, <laughs> I remember oh, scrubbing hi. my tongue with like Dove soap. That sounds like you. I had maggots too? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was just, everything was maggots. It's like a creep show. The roaches. They're everywhere. Man. Oh, that's such a great little... Vin- that's a great movie. I love creep shows. like one or two? I like them both, but I like one better. The Is the second one on the raft? That's yeah, the that's only my... one I think I remember from part two, to be honest. That and the vignette with the uh, the bullies chasing the kid. I want his ass. <laughs> what? Yeah, the bully says that. Have you ever seen Creep No. Shows? We should watch them this, hol- this October. You have no idea what Stephen they are? Stephen King and George Romero did the first one. Oh, God. Yeah. It's and like... Stephen King plays, uh, was it, Jordy Whirl? I don't remember. Wasn't Hasselhoff in one of them? It's meteor shit. Leslie Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen. One, Ted Danson. Him. Was there, wasn't there one with the beach and the... W- yeah. Uh, what's his name from Cheers? Was Ted Danson, yeah. yeah Ted I can hold my breath for a very long time. Well, Nielsen, yeah, so yeah. That, yeah. And then one with Adrian Barbo. I don't know who that is, do I? She was in uh, Escape from New York. Cool. I, I probably would picture her face him. Who? Yeah, what? he moves his mouth a lot. Which uh, story is she in? The one with the uh, creature in the box. Oh, she was a uh, B word. Yes. Yeah. She got bird. Yeah, Wait, bird did, is the word. Did Corey just self censor? Yeah, I guess he did. Nice. So I should, she was a real c word. <laughs> <laughs> when we uh, when we were at Universal last weekend, and we were doing the studio tour. They, uh, it's always my favorite thing when they don't always have Norman Bates there, but most of the time they do. You know. Yeah. But this time he wasn't just standing there; he was actually putting, putting a, a body. body in the trunk. <laughs> it was really? fun. He didn't yeah. chase your bus. He did. Yeah. But he would like looked around. And it was actually a pretty good face. He had the Anthony Perkins face down huh. pretty well. That's tight. Yeah, it was. I I we went up there and we rode a bunch of rides right away, and and then it got super crazy busy, and then we stopped. But we went on the new Jurassic Park ride. How was it? Uh, it was just Parker and I. Chris Pratt did it. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's did Chris up, Pratt ride with you. Yes. Nice. He, he, he climbs then, on in and. And then he tried to get me to go to a gay conversion oh, thing God. through his church. Oh, nice shock therapy. Yeah. What? Even though you're not gay? He goes to a church that supports uh, gay conversion therapy. Oh, does he? Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, you got to pray really hard and the gay goes away. <laughs> I've heard this. Yeah. And I, I think it works. Anyways, so no, he's not in the ride. It's like, you know how with every newer ride, there's like the TVs that are playing stuff before you get onto the ride. Okay. Is it clips from the movie or did he record something? No, he recorded new stuff. So did Bryce Dallas Howard. And, okay. Uh, is it Bryce Dallas Howard? Or is I it believe another, so. It's the, or is it the other one? I thought it was going to be like Sala. There was like, an Arrested he, Development joke about... No, it is like that. In, in line, does he do anything, or do you, is any, or is it just solely ride? No, it's it's in line. It's like talking to to you about dinosaurs and different things. Okay, and, yeah, that's but, uh, cool. Did you ride the original? Yeah, God. There was no long, Mr. Long DNA. Did you're, you ride the original? Correct. Yes. Okay. So you go through the big gates. There's the Brontosaurus and blah blah blah. That's gone. There's no big gates anymore, which kind of sucks. That's iconic. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's Jurassic World now, not yeah, Jurassic, not Jurassic Park. Park. Didn't they have a big game? Are you in Jurassic an orb? World? Huh? You no, you're not, not like in that. Orb. You're still in the they, same boat. On the tram, they did. It was like an electric tram, and they rode in, and it was whatever. Anyways, so uh, <laughs> you turn the first corner, and you're going by like a huge water tank that's got that Molosaurus or whatever it's called. I can't remember the name of the dinosaur. You know, the swimming one, the yeah. whale dinosaur. The, the only, did you see Jurassic? Mosasaurus. Did you see Jurassic World? Mosasaurus. Uh, yes. Okay. Mosasaurus. You didn't like race? it. I didn't hate it. I, I thought it was fine. I yeah. nothing did. So, did you watch the newest one? I haven't seen the newest no. one. No. We have it. Yeah, we do, but we haven't watched it yet. Am I the only one who's seen it? I guess. Good for you. Wow. Gold star. Did you enjoy it? Uh, it was okay. Yeah. I heard so such, that's a no. I heard such horseshit things about it that when I watched it. That's how I felt with it Venom. So, there was actually one part that actually I thought was the saddest part in any Jurassic Park movie. Which was, was it them in the lava? 
I am going to say. Yeah, because I'll watch it. Um, You'll know it when you see it. Okay, I'll cry. Uh, no, but so you're going by this huge tank, and it's got that dinosaur in it, and it's like, uh, it looks like it's swimming in there, and it swims towards the glass and then turns, so the tail whips out, and it hits, splashes water over the edge of the tank and just soaks the whole uh, the boat. But there's all these panels, and then it starts ramming against the glass, and the glass starts cracking. Like, it's a pretty cool screen. It starts cracking, and water starts shooting out of the cracks and stuff. Oh, uh, they got water test killed. Yeah. So then you, uh, and then you turn the corner, and then it was, like, boring, and I'm like, okay, you see a stegosaurus, but... There wasn't a lot of stuff. Okay, so no, and then you uh, you go through it, and it was kind of boring. And I was like, "This is this is why this is the remodel." Was it back to animatronics? Just no, it was animatronics, but there it was there around. wasn't a, a lot of stuff there. It was just empty. It felt empty. It felt like the Jungle Cruise. I love the Jungle Cruise. How dare That's you? Right. How dare well, you? You read the Jungle Cruise Without not for jokes? the animatronics. It's yeah. for the jokes. So if there's no jokes on it, it would just be bleh. Uh, but no. So then you go up into the thing, and. Uh, blue is there and the that scary whatever dinosaur it is i can't think indominus indominus is oh, whatever genetic yeah, rex it's uh yeah. it goes there's a lot more animatronics big dinosaur. in that area and it was pretty cool like I'm surprised they even and, did a big remo- i mean you don't really have to add just add the new dinosaurs for each movie and then and they did call, for most of, of it but yeah. the, was it the t-rex that popped out yeah or the, it was okay you but there is the dominus is trying to come down at you and it's p- pretty close was the t-rex saves you? t-rex saves you that's cool if they didn't do that it then. was it was it was pretty cool and then we had the, a situation like her and uh oliver rode the transformers ride while we rode this uh-huh. and then they went up the four thousand escalators you have to go up and parker and i got off and parker the line for transformers was only it was 10 minutes when we were waiting it was 30 minutes when we got there and i was like he's like all right let's leave and he's like no let's ride the single rider line and we've never done the single rider line before and it's always made me uncomfortable yeah but he's he asked to do it, and he's What's gonna, a single he's gonna be line. ten. You go in a separate line that only takes You've fill never in done lines. That before? At Disneyland, it's or? been so long since he's been to a theme park, he doesn't know what that is. Oh. <laughs> they have a separate line that's just single ride. I think the last time I went to a theme park was Universal in 2014. Yeah, they, well, they probably had it then too. So it's so true, and I, but I was I, I was there for the uh, horror nights, and so yeah. So to get Dude, every ride to maximum capacity, they want to fill every seat. Okay. So it's just a party you don't of, want to be with your party. A party of three in a four seater. Hey, single rider. Boom. But it's Parker's not, always been too young. But he he's like, can we do it? And I was like, yeah. I was like, let me go first so I can wait on the other side. Like, sure, as you're sweating. Yeah, I, I thought about it the entire time. Yeah. Either way, <laughs> either you go last and you worry about him after the ride, or you go first and you worry about him. Well, if I go ride. first, the people there are there to put him on the ride, and then I just waited for him, and it was fine. He's he's old enough now. He's gonna be ten, so. It's not like he's like I had somebody sit like a six year old girl next to me I remember you on radiator on the radiator springs. And you weren't having it. No. I remember. First of all, I switched seats with <laughs> Katrina. And then I was like, I can't believe this lady put her five and six year old kids. So what made you uncomfortable? The fact that the lady put a six year old next to a bunch of strangers or that you didn't want to listen to a six year old scream. Oh, I don't care <laughs> about the screaming. I have kids. It's just for me as a as a parent, I wouldn't put my five or six year old with a stranger on a ride. Do you want to sit next to the parent usually and enjoy it? Like, have to f- right, right. I get that. But, I mean, you trust yourself over, like, some other stranger, right? So, better you than someone well, else. Well, I think it would have been different if the mother was sitting next to one of the kids in the same row with him. Like, it wasn't that situation. It was like she was sitting somewhere She's else. like, here, take my kid kids. and be gone with him. Pretty right. much. Nice. Yeah. It was It was weird. But uh, we did that, and then yeah, the rest of the day was fun. We yeah. we watched a stunt show where they lit a dude on fire. It was interesting. We had, we saw the Waterworld show. Nice. Um, I cheered for the bad guy. I cheered for the Deacon because he's the best. He is. He is. He's a good actor. He is. He's he, fun. We've seen it three times now in the last six months, and it's been the same guy Cast. playing Deacon. How many times? Different Mariners. Do they, do they time. perform that? Yeah. Four times a day. Five times a day. Jesus, man. There's a. Uh, you get fatigued doing it that many times. He Are messes around money. a lot. The Deacon yeah. guy, he jokes around a lot. It's fun. That's what I like about Universal is uh, when you look at like people's name tags, they have like whatever their favorite Universal movie is. Mm-hmm. And I, there's always one guy who has Army of Darkness on there. And I was like, like, yeah, I always like throw him a high five. I know we talked about it on here. They do that at AMC as well. And somebody had Back to the Future 2 on theirs. And I was like, that's my favorite Back to the Future. You're like, nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize we were going to talk this long about Kit Kats and, and, and movies and stuff. But I, I did write some stuff down for Halloween today. Is um, coming up. Uh, the elephant in the room don't is. Don't remind me. Spider Man. Yeah, we could talk about that the whole time. Spider Man. I don't think it's going to go. I don't think he's going anywhere. You think? It's, you think it's all going to get? Yeah, uh, I do. 
It's all smoke and mirrors to... Who caves? What uh, do you mean? Who's gonna... Well, you heard what Stan Lee's daughter said, right? It doesn't matter what Stan Lee's daughter says. No, she's not associated with Marvel she's or... She's trying to be a mediator and say... No, no. she's pissed. At which one? That Marvel basically and Marvel and Disney are taking all her dad's entities and taking it to the bank. Well, I mean, you also, without proper respect to his I, I, creation. It's tough, but she's also been accused of elder abuse of him as well, so I, I feel like I have to take what she says <laughs> with a grain yeah. of salt. Right. So she doesn't concern me, to be honest. It's No, it, I, I wouldn't think of it that way. It's going to also just help the division of people. I just think that the fact that the movie makes... The fact makes that people like, are splitting into camps over this is ridiculous. I, I agree with that. Well, the movies are just better when Marvel has a hand in them. Matt's, Matt's all like, yeah suck it for all these people well, that shed on the X-Men movies and were excited about we should Disney more, buying Fox. More Why? Specific. The X-Men movies sucked. Marvel movies are better because Kevin Feige is involved. Yes. Most likely. The day he retires and they make a bad movie, yeah. we'll know for all, sure. All, yeah, I was going to say, all it takes is one flop. Uh, and, the, and, that, and that House of Cards right? down. I think it would take more than one. I think it would take two. I think one people would give a, uh, a buy. A pass. I think a second one people would be like, oh shit. Yeah. The uh, wheels have fallen you, off. You, that's a good point. So now, uh, Everybody sees the deal that was, and everybody heard the deal that was on the table. Mm-hmm. Do you think Disney asked for too much, or do you think Sony's too reluctant to give up? I haven't heard the deal that yeah, was on the table. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay. I don't know the details. So, in the current one, the Spider-Man movies are financed solely by Sony, and they pay everybody who writes it. Obviously, they get uh, people at Marvel to be the creative team in it. Kevin Feige, executive producer. Um, and I'm sure there was already some deal i'm sure marvel gets some profit from other people making movies with their property from the deal from 20 years ago but the tip of the iceberg was they would get five percent of the first day earnings as just a bonus straight to marvel in their pockets besides what they already kind of get getting s- split wise but and marvel already they own all of the merchandising so yeah and that's uh, that's funny because that's <sighs> And then also in loot, Marvel gets to use those characters in their movies, and they keep the profit on those movies. I, what was the th- that that's the existing deal, right? And now, now they currently. want fifty fifty, right? That was the deal up until a week ago. So now they're renegotiating. Well, I think it'll I think it'll work out because I hope. Well, the that, thing is, that's George Lucas syndrome, though. So remember, in order to get a new hope made, he took a massive pay cut on the front end and was optioned a hundred percent of all merchandising, right? Yeah. So that's why which, there's so much Star so Wars much merchandise stuff. now that that's where the money is. is although, yeah, absolutely. Although don't discredit a billion dollars at the box office. I think all oh, 5% off the top. That's, that's a pretty, that's a nice little bonus. Yeah. Although, and they did spend day, all, all of the money in their coffers for that Fox acquisition. So they're probably looking to recoup a lot of that in preparation for this launch of Disney plus. What are you gonna say? The fact that the movie yeah. makes like, three to five hundred million dollars more under marvel than it does under sony is a huge deal a I, huge deal i you know, agree but sony does have the bargaining chip that they did a spider-man movie without marvel being on it arguably it got the a, best Spider-Man academy award movie. and it made significantly it doesn't matter what awards it wins it's it's money it's all comes out of money it all comes out of money but critical acclaim does lead to money for the next spider-man with tom holland continuing the storyline in their universe how much of a drop off do you would you foresee? Hundreds of millions, not nearly that much. If it's not hooked to the uh, the next one, might be able to carry over. I know Tom Holland signed on for two more movies. I would see it for Tom Holland. I think that it'll carry over, but I think if the quality went down, the next one would take a big hit. You, you know what they could just do is they could keep Tom Holland, and all of a sudden he goes, "I'm Spider Man no more," and starts going by the Scarlet Spider. They haven't optioned that out, have they? No, no but, but they, they don't. There need you to go. Do that. Sony doesn't own that, right? Sony does. Uh, they own the entire Spider-Man universe. Yeah, they, they own, they, they own everything. They own. Yeah. That's why characters. they're. That's why they're making Venom movies. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's fair. Uh, Just like the X-Men owned, so, you know, everything mutant related. Yeah. 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 Do you think in the first movie, if Sony gave up half the profits of a billion-dollar movie, that it was too much for the owners or the sh- people who have to answer the shareholders to say, oh, "We gave up five hundred million on this deal when we could have went at it alone and possibly earned as much." Maybe, I, but wasn't it's the tricky. original head of Sony um, kind of shitting on the idea of creating a shared universe and said it would never amount to anything? <laughs> I hope he did. That's awesome if he did. And then he went to Fox. 
Oh, that guy's. Yeah. They pass on the whole, because they try to sell the whole catalog to Sony. Yeah. And they didn't want a whole they catalog. Want they just wanted Spider Man. That's funny. This is so, back when Marvel was bankrupt in what, right. 97, right. 98. But, it's funny because they were making a bounce back and they weren't even for sale. And Disney's like, we'll buy you. <laughs> they weren't even for sale yeah. at the time. I also think it's kind of, you know, they're trying to branch out into other available networks. Like, if you put everything under the exact same umbrella. Yeah. They're diversifying, just, yeah pump shit out it you know eventually it's going to turn to garbage with uh d- didn't a sony monopoly. didn't sony just switch studio heads recently not sure about that one I don't and, know. and that could be also why there's a push to renegotiate they saw what happened because didn't far from home make a shit ton of money yeah, yeah. more than any other incredibly sony movie well. in the history of anything. right it's a good uh, movie i wonder who was holding out like i wonder if we don't win it. We were in the talks, but like if Disney wouldn't budge on 50 50, they probably wouldn't. They yeah. own everything. Yeah. Except for and Spider-Man. So they obviously don't have well, all but the They own enough things. They own do, enough do entities. You think, well, you, you talk about They're monopolies. bullying people. When, yeah. when does antitrust and, and the federal government They don't. That in? doesn't exist anymore. You have to be pretty. You have to be Facebook for that. It's, <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to prove with movies too because well, so entertainment's movies. so hard and it's yeah. it's it, you know you fall under the intellectual property and what's tangible and, and what we, isn't. We're constantly talking about the amount of content that's out there just because. Oh, well, I'm just a, look I'm at a, production companies that well, don't exist anymore. Well, Disney's got a corner on the market on big movies, but I mean that's there's well, still so much other stuff out there. And Disney yeah. has this isn't the first time Disney has bought. I mean, remember that Disney owns Miramax. You know, they it, own everything. They, yeah, I mean, under False. Buena Vista, like that was a huge. False. How how much money is that Fast and Furious franchise making Disney? Isn't that's Fox now, isn't it? It's Universal. It's Universal. Is it uni- oh, yeah. billions and billions Ho- and billions Shaw, of but, dollars? But look at how many studios there were in, like, say, the golden years. TriStar, of, Columbia Pictures, and how many of those have all been merged into like four? And studios. all those companies are making small budget movies or TV content. Disney doesn't own everything. But there's I'll no fight mo- you guys on there's this. There's no more movie market for them, though, because they've been squeezed out. Who cares? TV is better than movies right now anyway. Well, you, you just said yourself now. that we're also reaching that saturation point that it is going to crash inevitably. I don't think so. I, I, I think that just it, the, the, the requirements movie. are less. You're, you're requiring less people to watch to keep a good show going because there's so much out there, whereas like... When like, like the Clerks cartoons came out and they had like a million and a half viewers, that was garbage then. If you had a million and a half viewers now, you'd be one of the better shows on TV. Well, what, look what happened last year during the Oscars when what was that film on Netflix that I wanted to watch that we never yeah. watched? Sergio or ha- Haunted something. It was the Spanish Roma? one. Roma. Roma. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that was a critically acclaimed movie <laughs> and it really didn't have much of a theatrical release, but it was. Well, did the mostly. Netflix the one day? thing which, right yeah but they don't want to recognize it because it's on tv steven spielberg doesn't want to recognize it the academy and he's people, the head of the academy right no that's they tom don't want to they don't want to recognize it? it tom hanks has been the president of the academy for a while but there's pressure nice. to keep things in theater oh yeah that's that's why uh the irishman's also getting a, a one day theater so if movies. martin scorsese can't even get a deal to make a movie like that right he had to go to netflix to right. make this that's just and, crazy. And, that's, and pulling these people out of retirement he's getting joe pesci harvey keitel De Niro, Pacino. God. And you can't get a theatrical release for yeah. a movie like that. Uh-huh. See, I just think that's sad. Well, John Bailey is the president of the Academy of Motion Pictures. Is he? Yeah. How long has he been president? I know Tom Hanks has been pretty high up in that for a long, long time. It's just moving in a really oh, far as of, away. Since 2019, the president is David Rubin. It's just moving further and further away from, you know, artistic value. Well, look at uh, all, all these financial reports that. that show that summer blockbusters are making less and less money unless you're a Marvel movie. Like the last three, you, you see all these reports. Is this the end of like you know, Hollywood? Because all these big budget summer blockbusters are underperforming like crap except Marvel movies. And, it, that's and been- so all these studios are scrambling to copy that formula to but it's been discussed for a while absolutely that that the movies are are dying the theater that, going experience is dying exactly yeah. eventually you're gonna be able to just get in your house anyways which is how we all want to watch movies anyways absolutely so i used to love going to theaters and now unless it's like a higher end theater that has nice seats i don't like going i don't want sitting straight upright with my back straight up in these uncomfortable hard and other seats. people's kids and i guess teenagers. that's just a nostalgia thing for me because i love going to theaters i, I still love going i to like theaters. going to theaters when there's a good seat 
and I want it reminds to see the movie. me of being a kid, and that was the only time that me and my dad got along. So that's an entirely different reason, right? Behind but it. I still like to do it. That's fine. And there are there are still there are still fun theater going experiences like the, the midnight movie uh, culture is still like big. Really, like Ken they do midnight showings all the time. They just had another screening of the room. With, yeah. Uh, Time Why is that? Every yeah. time we go to Sacramento, we go and see a movie freaking late at night that we yeah. probably shouldn't go see. Like, there's just kind of traditions around yeah. theater going, and that's going away. Oh my gosh, people still do midnight uh, productions of uh, Rocky Horror. I don't think that it'll ever entirely go away. I just think it changes. Everything it's needs gonna to change. Evolve. Yeah, it has to it's, evolve. Or it's die. going to like we just said earlier: better food, better experience, better drinking, better seats. The the super multiplex thirty six theaters that are going to be just these cookie cutter things. That's what's going away. Mm-hmm. The the movie theater experience never way. But then with that, you're going to start expecting less in return. I mean, there's we're hitting the peak. It's going to crash. It's just it's just like how how those big opulent movie theaters that were huge up until like the sixties and seventies before the multiplexes came around. Those those were the thing. You know, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm yeah. talking about. Like well, those, they only had so many showings. Like right. they didn't have. You know, 20 showings in one day of the same movie. One thing I've always wanted to do every time I'm in L.A. and I always forget to. I want to see a movie at that that Beverly Theater, that that Quentin Tarantino Theater. You've always wanted to go back to that theater in Santa Barbara. Yeah. I saw one of the Lord of the Rings in a theater that's actually a play theater that Mm -hmm. only has two. It shows two movies a day. And it's got like... uh, the outside of it or the the walls are like looks like an italian village and there's stars on the ceiling yeah and it's like an old school theater uh, but i i wanted to bring something to this you're saying that smaller movies can't be made if if we start to realize that these big budget movies aren't making their money back and they're making less then you think there's gonna be a pendulum you're gonna go swing? no you're, there's gonna be a pendulum swing you're gonna have smaller budget movies that there, are coming out that don't need to make as much money there that was go a to pendulum theater. swing remember in the 90s that was that was the decade of the, the indie darlies yeah well then it's it's swung this way and it'll swing back right i mean when they say okay we need to make smaller movies because we need the, and then the return doesn't and when you have 20 million going out for a movie instead of 250 million you could take bigger risks because it's not as important because you spent way less money. That's mm-hmm. why how Kevin Smith keeps making movies. Also, when, when these studios lose money, that's a huge tax break for these studios. It, I mean, how much mo- like Like John Carter money? Didn't that lose like $250 million? That's a shame because yeah. it wasn't that bad of a movie. I need to watch it. it I'm a big fan of the books, and it wasn't that bad of a movie. That's what I've heard. It's, it's, it's I heard pretty that they good. just didn't market just nobody it saw well. it? Yeah. yeah. Nobody knew what the hell John Carter of Mars is. Nobody knows what Barsoom is. The lead is. was... Not really anybody. I mean, he was, was Gambit. Gambit. Yeah, I know. That's, and he's in season two of True Detective. I mean, he may be a fine actor, but it's yeah. like to carry the whole big production. I don't know. Yeah. To uh, to cycle it's back. It's got uh, Willem Dafoe in it too. And it has Willem. who's Dafoe. the villain? The villain somebody too. I never watched. Yeah. It, but yeah, he's, he's a guy. Some dude. He's a bird. To uh, to come a few steps back, talking about Tom Holland uh, and what we talked about last week. Did you see that Uncharted lost its director? <laughs> no, really? Yeah. That happened? Yeah. Your boy's gone. That sucks. Fifth director to leave. Really? That movie's Fifth. never getting Creative made. differences? You know, I don't know. I saw some thing. I guess Tom Holland filmed a movie last year with... Jeez, um, I should know her name. She could add your right to do it. Well, that'd be cool. Yeah, I think he, I think he could do well with the action. I the heard comedy. there might be another Baby, baby Driver. Baby Driver too. Oh, oh, God, I fucking love that movie. It's a good movie. It's, it's a, a good movie. great fucking movie. What's the girl's name from Star Unless Wars? you watch it with Robert's dad, and he just ruins it in the first 10 minutes. The new one. My dad's <laughs> weird with movies. <laughs> Zendaya? No. What are you Who talking Ridley? about? What did you just Daisy say? Ridley. Okay. Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley filmed a movie together like last year. It's just it's, it's, it's deemed unreleasable. I don't know. It's based off a teen novel. Like it's so know. bad? What? Yeah, so, yeah. Huh. And they went to reshoots, but they're both booked up. So I don't know if they're... Yeah, she's kind of busy. It might come out next year, I guess. He's probably a little busier. <laughs> Star Wars is over. Is he under contract with Sony? Then? Two more movies. Like, so... Was, was his contract with to be in Sony movies, does that not include Marvel movies like Infinity War? I don't know. I don't know either. It's interesting. I saw that... I didn't look into it because I don't care, but I saw that he unfollowed Sony on Instagram. Like yeah, somebody said ooh. then. There's yeah. a couple of freak outs and people well, slamming. People you know, want to connect is, the dots. I don't know if this is related or not, but you also know that the day that was announced that Sony bought never... The, the studio that made the Spider-Man game as well. Insomniac. Yeah. Insomniac, yes. that's what it was, yeah. That was other big news. It was like the Good day game. before. It was a great game. 
I think it was probably the best selling something or best selling PS4 game. I honestly, here. well, Insomniac already made exclusively for Sony, anyways. What? No, Resistance, right? Yeah, that was a that Ratchet was a, and Clank. What else came out for other? Uh, it was a really colorful game. It came out on Xbox only. Cam- Sunset Overdrive. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so they that made, was the last game they, they made, made it before mostly Spider-Man. Mostly PlayStation games, yeah. but not exclusively. Mm. Now they will. Yeah, I like the stupid ass smirk you just gave me. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Sony doesn't do what EA does with studios and just collect them. Down. them. Yeah, no. collect them. It's like <laughs> uh, trading cards. Uh, other news this week: uh, Matrix Four announced. Yeah, with original cast coming back. Yeah, about twenty years too late for me to care. No Morpheus. What? Eric is very excited wherever he is. <laughs> Eric almost got the tattoos of all the like plugs. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. yeah, I remember. He was super into Matrix. He still is. Just, it's like his favorite movie of all time. As we watch the first one, is holds really up good. really well. I watch one and two, and I need to watch the third one with BB. But two, they're really cool parts. But on the whole, man, it's such a slog. Th- that's the thing. Two and three have a couple of really cool parts, and that's about it. Because well, it. Yeah. it gets you in the thing. Oh, this is gonna be great, and then it is. And it not. gets like forty minutes of up. It's <laughs> like, ass. oh, cool. Neo is like this digital Jesus. He's gonna have all these like, cool superpowers. And you're like, oh, why is everybody fucking talking? Why is he talking? in Z- Zion for fucking forty five minutes? Why is there a rave going on right now? Why yes. do I care? Yeah, a hundred percent that, and it gets better toward the end. The highway scene, every bit of that's no, awesome. No, but did you ever watch that spin off, the Animatrix that came? I never out be- did. That was, that was really cool. Yeah, I, I heard it was good. Yeah, I think that they're out there. There's probably a cut somewhere that cut out all the garbage and kept all the cool stuff. That's <laughs> a better a better version of watch. Made an hour I'm less. Sure, uh, what's the name from that '70s show? Made it. <laughs> yeah, Topher Grace. Yeah. Yeah. He was he was good in his, Black Klansman. He man. was his uh, cut of uh, the David Duke. Star Wars prequels is really good. I wanted to watch it, but I don't know how it was released. It's never on officially, YouTube. right? They were unofficially released on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, he was. Uh, uh, so no Morpheus, right? No, I don't think so. But yes. I heard a lot of the special effects cast and stuff is coming back. Are they bringing back Yen Wu Ping. I, I would know. hope you brought everybody from uh, what you call it, John Wick. Well, th- th- those the stunt choreographers. Uh, worked on the matrix with yen Ping, but he was the guy responsible for all the wire foo from like uh, crouching tiger hidden dragon and mm-hmm. uh I, the iron monkey i'd be down if he came back I yeah don't know if he is and only one of the wachowskis is coming back i think that's what i read lana i don't know what the, uh, what Which brother sibling that is what brother is now lana the not the wachowski it's brothers the bald it's anymore. the bald the one that used to be the bald one okay I think. Oh, I don't know. Don't look at me. Yeah, I, I, it's one of the siblings. I don't know which one. So that's interesting. But if I'm not mistaken, I'm a little hazy. Weren't they all dead at the end of the last one? I, I thought mean, I thought Neo died. Neo the was end. the only one that I died. I thought Trinity got impaled right before that somehow when they're flying I, over I to the AI. Like again, I, I think this movie was 20 years too late for anyone to care. Uh, 20 years? It's to research the whole Well, it was movement. 20 years ago the first movie came out. They're going to re-release title? all the movies in theaters. So man. The third one came out. Though, it came, it came out of. It, what, it came out a couple of months after uh, Boondock Saints was supposed to come out, and that got pulled from theaters after a day because that was the same day as Columbine. You know what, Fucking, super... you know what came out the same time as around the Matrix was uh, my Christian Bale movie that I like a lot. Yeah, Equilibrium. Equilibrium. Yeah, Equilibrium. It was a fun movie. It, the Prestige doesn't get enough talk. It doesn't. That's, no, it's a good uh, movie. That's probably my favorite Nolan movie. He's done a lot of good movies. He has. I still haven't seen Dunkirk or Interstellar. Dunkirk's good. I, uh, d- d- Interstellar's eh. What I saw something about, you know, his character in The Big Short? Oh, he played a real guy? Who? Uh, Christian Bale. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just saw a headline that the real guy is investing heavy in uh, GameStop. Water. Is he really? Yeah. Didn't GameStop it, also just... GameStop has been going down for a bit, but... Maybe he sees something, man. Maybe that was well, time they just to buy. Cut, they, they own, bought, game, they own uh, game Informer, and they just cut like half of their staff. And like what's fifty percent across the board? Just what else did they buy that you loot think crate? Geek? Yeah, oh. loot crate. <laughs> loot crate. Know. It's pennies on the dollar. There. We should buy it. We <laughs> could turn it around. <laughs> just sell everything that's, individually. Well, that's usually what that's what these investment firms do. We can like, build that's it. That's what they're doing with Toys R Us. Yeah. And didn't somebody also just buy the Kmart brand as well, and then have to turn it around? Um. <laughs> Hasn't it been trying to get turned around Is for like Circuit 20 City years? Circuit City coming back too? Is who? Circuit City. <laughs> well, you know, you get enough nostalgia for it. I'm it's sure. Oh, I miss Circuit City. Oh, boy. With all that. Just, it's a Kmart, Toys R Us, Circuit City. <laughs> you can have the, like one of those food outlet? halls that I has miss, all kinds of different little things. I miss Montgomery Boards and Bourbons. Yeah. 
I think we got our, our bar off of the Circuit City out, um, thing. Nice. Through Amazon. Nice. Um, They're out there. Bill Odenkirk. Bill Odenkirk? That's not right. Bob, Bob, Bob Odenkirk. Bob. Thank you. I knew it as soon as it came out of my Bob. mouth. What did he do? Announced that uh, Breaking Bad film has is done filming. Was it a film or a series? Done? It's a film. It's a uh, film. It's a sequel or prequel? Sequel. Uh, sequel Who knows? I don't know why I was under the Maybe it's both. The show. No, it's, it's a movie. It's supposed to follow Jesse. I don't know. What's wrong with Jesse? He's a rat. Oh, my God. Should have fucking died at the end. Not my favorite character. I will say that. He ended up being better in Walter White. He's the White best the character at the end of the series. Morality wise, sure, but Walter he's still White's, a rat. Walter White's the best character. You don't rat. Well, I, I, I've said it on here. I've said it he's off so mic. I've said it everywhere. Ass. At the beginning, you're rooting for for Walter, and you're like, Who, "This Jesse guy's fucking terrible." And they do it on purpose that at the end, Jesse's the moral yeah person, and Walter White's the one that finally he's, is. He's like uh, lawful evil, though. If anything, he's not chaotic evil, or I would agree because. He still He's has like Tywin Lannister. Some He's morals, like necessary when he, evil. When he blackmails his old cohorts and puts a fake sniper on him, and you know, it's just laser pointers. It's did he was he at the train heist? I think so. So, so there was a child killed there. Yes, but, but was, he didn't order that. That was no, but it was his involvement. Deputy Doofus that did that. I'm sorry, and you're he, you're who he you got keep, back him at the end. You're who still you a part keep your of company it. with. Yeah. That kid died because of you. What could you do besides kill them all? That would have made it better after the fact. And and I have to say, like, sure, you know, those characters are cool, but really, Hank? Come on. There's no love for Hank. I like Hank. I don't like his voice. Or wife. Mike. Oh, my favorite was Giancarlo Esposito. I loved, uh, that's his name, right? Gus Frank. Gus Frank. Gus Frank. He was I want to say something so bad, I, I bet my tongue. Okay, never mind. About that guy. Forget Why? It. In real life? No. In Doesn't the show? Matter. Doesn't matter right now. Why? Okay. Now I'm curious. Yeah, that's just What weird. does it have to do with? Uh, something. Jurassic World? No. The what fact the hell is in going community? on? What? It'd be a spoiler, minor. For what? For... Something. RoboCop? He was, I think it was in RoboCop. What? If you want me to say it, it's fine. Well, right? can't you, like, go until I say stop? Like, I mean, I could tell you a little bit. It's just going to give away. He is in a show that I've seen that you haven't. The boys. Uh, oh, nice. Who's he playing the boys? I don't want to say. Not that it matters. It's just when he pops up, you'll be like, oh, cool. Did you, did you finish that show? Yeah. Eight episodes. Easy. Uh, we have a couple episodes left for Mindhunter. Three. Three. I haven't started the boys yet, but I've read the comics. That's my next show, probably. Kendall, Kendall was pretty upset about him, so. What? I guess it deviates from the comic quite a bit. Probably so. What a surprise. Doesn't almost every yeah. medium yeah. Well, translation? Uh, no, the first Sin City, man. That movie was yeah, like that was on point. spot on. But uh, anything, Gar- Garth Ennis is pretty fucking, like, he gets pretty brutal. I mean, if you re- if you ever finish Preacher, yeah. I, you know what I, I'm you talking about. You keep saying finish it. Like, I need he to never start started it. it. I thought you started it. No. What do you mean, the TV show or the book? Either. Well, you started, started the show. Because when you compare, like, the first few trades to the first couple seasons, it's more or less the same thing but the changes that are made are like yeah that's sh- I, i'm surprised you can get away with what you did get away with on tv but the shit that they pulled is stuff you definitely like uh, do on TV. so just just to put it in perspective yesterday i i worked and then i grabbed parker and then we went to pitching practice and then we went to do school shopping and then we came home and ate dinner and then i made them go shower and then we get went to bed. bed and today i worked all day and then i had to go to the store and then I came home. And then I walked oh, the dog. You did not just go to the store. You went to all the stores. Yeah. Why'd you do that? Daisy ate one of Oliver's toys that he bought with his own allowance yesterday. <laughs> and I went to multiple stores to find a the replacement. Toy. Yeah, oh, a replacement. Uh, so I did that. And then I came home and walked the dog. And then I came home. And then I built a new batting net for Parker. And then I ran the kids through baseball drills. And then we had dinner. And then I sat down and the only thing I've been doing for me for the last, what, two weeks is I started playing Final Fantasy VII again on Switch. How far are you? I just got out of Midgar. It, so is it the it hours. remaster where you can like fast forward? No. Oh. That's Brian's like, did you do the cheat where you're level 99 and have everything? I was like, that doesn't sound No, no, no. Don't do the cheat. But where you could fast forward through like dialogue or like grinding. That might be kind oh. of nice. But oh, it's so nice. A Parker. Grinding, though? Parker played the first. Uh, I got all the way up hour. to because I, I was replaying Final Fantasy VII for a while too, and I got up to the point where I, I never got the date with Barrett, and uh, I finally got a date with Barrett. 
Congratulations. That was a lot of fun. We just broke out, and they shoot <laughs> the balloons. Uh, no, but Parker played the first uh, reactor explosion on his own account. Yeah. I was like, you just you have to read. But uh, yeah, I just I don't have a lot of time. Sure. I, I need to take time for myself, but I, I just don't. And like starting next week, Oliver's got soccer practice on Tuesday. Parker's got pitching lessons on Wednesday. Parker's got baseball practice on Thursday, and they have for the game Saturday. This is all Parker Sunday. stuff. This sounds like a Parker problem, not a Robert problem. Yeah, I'm a supportive <laughs> father. Yeah, we have to be involved. What about Oliver? What yeah, about see, Oliver has soccer practice on Tuesdays and and games on Saturdays. Oh, is it soccer season now? Yeah. Yep. Parker wanted to take a season off of soccer, but then he does baseball, and then he's going to do winter league basketball for the first time, and then he goes right back into spring baseball. Yay. Crazy. There are parents that we see that just drop their kids off and leave. Well, let's hope they don't get into the playoffs. Show your kids do karate. We go for a long time. That's great. Oliver's going to next year, I think. Uh, no, I did have a... Uh, are you That's even more time. Are you God. looking at recipes? <laughs> no. Um, so, I had a... I had a... Uh, a thing about, I guess, Ezra Miller's movie, uh, Flash movies moving forward. So... Is that the uh, only thing moving that? forward? Ezra Miller played The Flash in Justice League. Oh, okay. He was one of the few bright spots in that movie. Okay. Uh, but no, I read a news article today, and this is like nightmare fuel, okay? Oh, God. Dude in New York is in an elevator with a couple other people. Elevator opens. First person walks off. Second person walks off. Dude goes to walk off. Elevator launches into the basement. And he gets caught in between two levels and dies. That sucks. That's, yeah, it's. It immediately made me think of Resident Evil, the movie where the guys. Wait, what does that have to do with the Flash? It doesn't. I'm just moving on to oh. it because it was the story <laughs> I read. Story. I was waiting for it. I'm waiting for the connection. And we're, and <laughs> I was we're waiting com- for some guy, a red blur. And we're coming up on our, uh, our hour mark here, so we need to wrap up. But uh, yeah, is that like something you see in a movie that's just horrible? Yeah. That's I told you my trapped in an elevator story, right? No. I've been. I Did you tell establish mine a pee corner? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, so I had this. I had this patient that we were. Uh, oh, you did doing tell me. CPR on for like hours, right? It's just we keep getting a pulse and lose it. Keep getting a pulse and lose it. And just you know, back and forth. Finally, we get a pulse. They're stable enough to go to ICU. Me and the tech are wheeling the bed. We're taking the elevator up one floor to the ICU, and the tech goes, "Oh, I forgot something." And I was like, "All right, I'll meet you up there because like we need to go because I don't want this person to crash on me again." And then. Uh, you go a few feet and I just hear and, and it stops go, moving fuck. and I went fuck and we have these little like walkies they're kind of like walkies they're called those Sarah's they're like they work on like a wireless signal so I call my charger and she's like what can I do for you today Alan and I'm like get me the fuck out of here I'm trapped in this elevator in what felt like the longest 15 minutes of my life and I go well I guess it could be worse I could lose pulses on this patient and no sooner yeah. did I say that did I lose pulses. So I'm in this elevator by myself doing CPR, trying to, to like... resuscitate him. Yeah, just <laughs> doing chest compressions one-handed on this bed while I'm waiting for the maintenance guy to get the elevator up. And it was the longest 15 minutes did of Did the life. person survive? I can't say. Okay. So uh, my elevator story is not as dramatic uh, I was with James and Anthony and we were at the mall and we were going up in the elevator and the lights like flickered and the alarm went <laughs> and we just froze and they were, this was 15 years ago, maybe more. So Anthony was probably like 13 and him and James are like freaking out and I'm like, no, nah, we're fine. We're fine. In the meantime, I'm like, what the fuck? Did you so, say I should pee corner then? Uh, yeah, bzz, we all took <laughs> one corner and peed. Yeah. So I buzzed the thing and it just, it, it ended up opening it on its own after like five minutes, but it was still like, ugh. Was that Parkway? Yeah. Going outside of the uh, yeah. Was it because you had the door lot? open too long? Yeah. No. No. Because people, the, people don't know that. elevators are just rickety. When you hold an elevator door open for too long, it will actually alarm. Hmm. People like freak out. Like, oh my God, the elevator's going to stop. No, that's just that you kept the door open. You kept the door open. Yeah. You so, made a statement. So when are we going to do another Books and Brews episode? Oh. After you buy your house? Yeah. Next month? <laughs> He's like, Sure. Sure. We'll start putting together. I, I, I still have to find a way to cram in that uh, escape room. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't have to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I, so, I, I want to beat up a Chinese serial killer. Mm, Corey's trip got canceled. He's not coming. He's not? Yeah. yeah. You but, son of a bitch, Corey. He's we not already, coming out until November. Yeah, we already booked it. So he is a, oh, he's that, a patron now, right? In so, November, though. In November, are they both coming? 
I don't know if they'll be coming at the same time. They're opening a new speakeasy in Old Town that's uh, next to the cemetery. Next to the cemetery. Ooh, that's going to be the spooky one that uh, you've heard all the stupid urban legends about that cemetery, right? No, I don't really care. I just want to. They allegedly hung a witch there back in days of yore. Nice. And uh, if you go out there at night, because you could you could find like stone pentagrams that people have laid out. And, okay. Uh, Satanists have had black mass out there. And you know, it's for spooky and haunted. Well, I just want to go to the speakeasy. I don't care about the story. <laughs> I don't care about all the other shit. You never, went, you never went to the... Uh, I've gone to the graveyard. The Whaley house after, yeah, yeah. after dark? No. Uh, no, not after never dark. Never done any of those overnights in there? No. No. <laughs> nothing happens. I had a house. Yeah. <laughs> no, nothing happens in it. It was a bunch of malarkey. I got enough dead people already bothering me. I don't need any more. Apparently, somebody died in my new house. Really? Cool. Yeah, Usually, it's not even that old. My realtor was like, well, so in the it, burned, fire. it burned down in the fire. Did somebody die in the fire? No. Okay. <laughs> they just, they rebuilt it and then they died and then the people <laughs> buying it from bought it. Right after they rebuilt it, they died. <laughs> no, then my realtor's like, does that bother you? And I'm like, no, that's awesome. <laughs> we were, we I, were. I want, a, I, want, I want a haunted house. And were they buried in, under the floorboards? I have no idea. I wish. We're in escrow. We were in escrow on a house where somebody, the lady had died of old age. Uh, Danny's house, somebody drowned in the pool in the backyard. Little Someone boy. died in my dad's house. Like it, it happens. Your dad. People, I know. What about a murder house? <laughs> I mean, your dad died in your dad's yeah. house. I mean, I'm not laughing People about it. People die in but... houses. It happens. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens when you. But die. With the, when it, what it's been, I think within five Someone years they have to house, put it apparently. on there. What? My grandfather died in my house. That I'm staying at now. Uh, my uncle bought a house where there was. Uh, uh, they didn't even patch it. There was a hole in the ceiling. The dude had blown his head off and there was a chunk of the ceiling that was gone was the head up there uh, yeah Some and skull uh, fragments. they didn't <laughs> even the patch thing. it it Some was just static. like just open yeah it was just open my uncle jim that sucks he's dead now too he didn't die in that house though his daughter died in her house well yeah i guess people just die in houses. do you think a house being like a being a scene of a murder would lower the the value of absolutely home? yes a murder yes yes Pass it away, no. But a murder? Regular regular death is fine. Murder? Murder. That's okay, so <laughs> yesterday well, yesterday we were doing school shopping and Katrina was being like a complete asshole. Yep. That's and, my job. I was yeah, getting things done. I had a yeah, list. And she like she, even to the point where she's like, Stop it, I'm doing something. But I was like, uh Oliver was buying a toy and the, the Did to- you yeet? No, I didn't yeet it. It was even better. Uh he was buying something and, and one of the kids in the show's name is Sean and I was going around going, Sean! <laughs> oh my god sean <laughs> but they don't know what you're doing <laughs> <laughs> you do i do <laughs> but you didn't think it was funny either no i had something to do yeah and then fuck her like i'm putting the dog's collar on today and she opens the fridge while i'm putting it on and that smashes an me accident. in the head and i said i was sorry immediately it doesn't matter and you're like Ugh. it shouldn't even have happened why were you, you saw where i was are you safe in your relationship no no, I'm constantly being hit in the face and the head by not just Katrina, but the boys. Like, I'm constantly being hit. Okay, that is Frying both pans. of us. Okay. Yeah, but you're the only... I don't hit you. I get hit by both the boys and you. You just get hit by the boys. <sighs> I've been headbutted in my sleep and punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still, I still remember when your son nailed you in the beanbag. That was great. Uh, which time? <laughs> which time? You that fucking toy that. Right What's with. funny is the immediate reaction is you want to hit somebody, yeah. but you can't hit your kid. So you're like, you hit the wall. Oh darn! No, you just you get that defensive position, then you just drop it. One time, Oliver, uh, when he was really little, hit me in the face with a toy, and I was like, he started I was like, bleeding. Damn it! And I pulled my hand away, and it was covered in blood. I'm like, dang it! Skylanders. It just had a spike on the back of it, and it oh, hit right yeah. on the bridge of the nose and busted me open. Uh, we got to end. We actually All talked the whole time. Come yeah, to an end. Ta-da. yeah, it was a good episode. Woo, woo. How are you feeling about this one, Corey? You feel good? The aristocrats. Hope, closing statement. I hope Spider-Man makes it back to the MCU Me too. for the sake of the MCU storyline. Yeah. I mean, they're putting, they were putting a lot on him. Like, he's probably like, what the fuck? I had this all written out for 20 years. No, they've got a great storyline. He has to go into hiding because everybody knows who he is now. So they got a couple years. They're good. You saw the whole thing that said Marvel announces new movie with Night Monkey, right? I heard some Night Monkey joke. Yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> a arachnid guy. <laughs> Arachnids. Nice. Brown Widow. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Oliver jumped in the pool the other day, and then he comes screaming, running out, and there was a spider in the pool that was probably, I mean, had a f- four-inch span. Nice. From Did you tell him if he gets bit, he, he gets superpowers? Do you remember that episode? Of, I mean, I haven't watched Family Guy in years, but the superpower one where yeah, Adam West it's, rolls around in the... And he gets lymphoma? Yeah. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have rolled around in that toxic waste. Yeah, that was good. 
Adam Ow, West. I'm almost bleeding. Ooh. Yeah. Poor Meg. Yeah. She's always been shit on. Yeah. That's Mila Kunis. Yeah. Why? So, it was. Yeah, no, was it so, always Mila Kunis? I think the first it was, season it was someone else. It was somebody else the first season, I believe. Man, that's got to be a nice little paycheck. Like the people from The Simpsons make like $250,000 an episode. That's nice. When is that going to die? Never. They're going to pump that shit forever. Would you, if you were like, I don't want to, I don't want to start another conversation about desert island shows or whatever, blah, 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 blah. But if, if, wouldn't you take The Simpsons? Like it's got 30 seasons. You might as well. It's going to take up the most amount of time. And even in those shitty seasons, there are some gems. Yeah. I would take in that regard, South Park, not 12 less seasons probably or 10, but I like that better. Whatever. It's still. It's also a pretty consistent show. There's a few seasons that are kind of meh, but. Still pretty consistently funny. I was yeah. trying to explain. Uh, well, one of the guys at work today was like, he was. We were talking about basketball, and he's like, hey, I, can, I can shoot if we're playing like horse or you know just shooting, but I don't like the. I was like, <laughs> but you're not good at that running around shit. I was like, what are you gonna play basketball? They're like, what's basketball? And I'm oh like, no! I was trying to explain. Like it. I was like, it's like a stupid funny movie. I like it a lot. Wait, you guys aren't sports guys. <laughs> I was. I was talking to. I was talking to one of the guys, and I was like, Cock beer. At one point, they're like, you know, we, when people got bored, they switched to interleague play. And when they got fed up with that, they did inter sports play. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the fucking outfielder trying to catch a ball that gets <laughs> tackled. Tackled. I've I've seen that movie a dozen times. Though. I love that movie. It's a good movie. Uh, now we gotta end. Mm-hmm. We're done. Until next We're time. Out. Yeah. Until next time. Yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for the the Patreon members. Uh, and you know we were gone for like three and a half weeks due to to equipment errors yep but we had like massive downloads for past episodes from new subscribers and stuff so so uh, Corey, get your ass down here so we can actually do something fun yeah Corey, noel piece of shit i don't think it's really his fault but okay it's his fault yeah we can't go into why uh, but no, nah, lots of downloads on the last episode. So if you're catching up to this one, uh, thanks to all the new listeners and thanks to the old ones. And Huzzah. we're going we're to keep plugging away <laughs> each week. So uh, that'll be this week's episode. That installment. Suck it, Brian. Brian.